Hello darling, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Ramina Ra and if those scenes are familiar to you, you're going to love this video because in this video I'm going to share with you my very personal yoga practice during the first three days of the menstruation. As you know, in the menstruation the body releases the old cell or the old egg with the old tissues of the uterus lining. It is very important that we adjust our yoga practice in order to support this natural process. What we are going to avoid in our yoga, in our vinyasa or yoga practice is all deep twists, all deep compressions of the abdomen and also long inversions like handstand or headstand or pincha mayurasana, forearm stand. So um, personally I do I still do a downward facing dog and um, maybe you heard already about it because that uh, in Hatha Yoga for example they say that you have to strictly avoid all the inversions um, because um, in the yoga philosophy there is an energy which is called apana. This is a prana which is uh, directed from upside down so it removes all the to toxins from the body um, and also this menstruation cycle we uh, call as apana. So because apana is flowing from upside down we have to avoid everything which, is, uh, reverse, which reverses this uh, process. So that's why this is just philosophy. But uh, there were no researches or scientific researches that proved this hypothesis. Um, long time it was believed that uh, doing long inversions uh, during the menstruation can cause endometriosis. But as I said, it was not approved. Uh, so that's why I personally prefer doing only downward facing dog as an inversion and avoiding all this long and super intense uh, yoga asanas like handstand or forearm stand and so on. It is very individual how your body is going to react to a yoga practice. As I notice for myself, if I don't adjust this, my yoga practice uh, to my menstruation cycle, and I'm doing just normal, my normal one to one and a half hours fl vinyasa flow, I can, um, my bleeding gets very intense and also I get uh, abdomen pain. So that's why I adjusted it to my own needs, to my own needs of my body. What we are going to concentrate in this yoga practice is gentle stretches, especially leg stretches like uh, hamstring stretches, also some gentle twists, some chest extensions, um, and uh, we're going to first uh, beforehand do a little and very slow and easy vinyasa flow, maybe four rounds uh, to warm and mobilize the body. You're going to need some things for this practice. Um, it would be super cool if you have a strap, a pillow and a blanket and also a block. Uh, because we are going to do some restorative poses, we're going to hold them for a long time. Uh, that's why it is nice if you're not that uh, flexible enough to, so you can really relax and release the tension in these restorative poses. So now to start this practice, uh, make some cozy and calm atmosphere 
uh, put some music on, light some candles, or vaporize some essential oils and come on your mat. We're going to start in the laying position, so come on your mat, bring both feet in front of you and start slowly supporting yourself, rolling all the way down, take your strap with you and roll down. You're going to bring your feet a little bit wider apart and you're going to bring your knees together. Bring your right hand on your belly and the left hand on the right hand and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a long exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose exhale through the mouth one more time inhale and exhale release all your thoughts all unnecessary tension now all the problems now is the time for yourself and for your body Breathe naturally. And for now, concentrate on the feeling, on the sensation in your physical body. Feel the points of your body which touch the mat. And feel if you have some tension, if you feel some tension around your shoulders, your neck muscles, maybe some tightness around your pelvis, your hip flexors. Just observe each feeling without judgment. Even this is a perfect state for now. Take one more deep breath in through your nose and long exhale through your nose too. Slowly open your eyes and we're going to start bringing your, the feet a little bit closer to, to each other. Sit bone wide apart and now you're going to grab your right thigh just under your knee and you're going to bring your thigh a little bit to the right side not not to the chest but more to the side if you like you can stretch your left leg here flex your left foot and just feel this opening in your left hip flexor now take your right hand and bring your right hand on your knee on your right knee and you're going to open your right knee to the side using this outward rotation deep breathing one more breath in and exhaling now bring your knee again towards the ceiling and now we're going to start massaging the calf muscle because also this muscles feel very tense uh, during the period so you're going to stretch your leg a little bit more um, pointing your heel towards the ceiling and you're going to grab somewhere also you can bend now your left knee it's a little bit um, easier so you're going to grab really high with both hands and you start massaging your calf muscle down so we're starting up and going slowly down so you can really work on different strains inside part the middle and the outside part very nice Good. Now from here, let, stay in this position and now you, you're going to use your strap. 
and you're going to bring the strap on your foot and now if you like you also can stretch your left leg if you like if you want to have more deeper stretch or you can just leave it here uh, in each case try to point your tailbone down towards the floor from here we're going to stretch the leg out really flexing this foot and pointing the heel towards the ceiling micro micro bend in the knee joint and again we're going to stretch and we're going to do four more times of this try to not raise your right hip keep your both hips leveled one more time stretch stay here point your tailbone a little bit deeper towards the floor if you like now you can also stretch the left leg and bring the right leg a little bit closer to you two more deep inhalations here very nice now bend your knee release so now we're going to the other side grab under your left knee and stretch your right leg flex the right foot so we're going to bring the knee to the side very nice feel this opening on the right hip flexor And now take your left hand on your left knee and open to the side using the outward rotation of your hip. Two more deep inhalations here. And exhaling release. Now we're starting with them massaging our calf muscle. For this you can bend again your right your right leg and we're starting again from upside down relax your foot now everything is relaxed we're concentrating only on massaging this muscle from the different sides good one more time So now you're going to take your strap again and bring your left foot in. Now bring the knee a little bit closer to you and start stretching from this point. Really, really directing this heel towards the ceiling. Bend a little bit and stretch again. Point your tailbone down. Three more times. Concentrate on the quality of your breath, make it super deep, make the exhalations longer than inhalations. Very nice, stay here if you like, stretch your right leg and bend the, flex the foot and bring your left leg a little bit closer. Stay here for four, two more breaths in. Now release your strap to the side and now for the next pose it's going to be a happy baby you're going to bend your knees bringing the knees towards you to the sides not to the chest and you're going now to point again your heels towards the ceiling and grab your feet from the inside now from here it's very important that you're really bring this tailbone down so you feel your sacrum completely on the floor and now bring your knees a little bit deeper feel the stretch in your hip joints if you like start shaking from one side to another slowly you can close your eyes feeling each vertebra on the floor very gentle movement 
Feel this relaxation in the lumbar spine. Good. Slowly come to the center. Now you're going to bend the knees, bringing your hands underneath your knee joints and exhaling slowly without any tension, roll all the way up and come into sitting position. So now from the sitting position, we're going to change into quadruped. Bring your hands in front of you under your shoulders, bring the knees under your hip joints, sit bone wide apart or hip keep wide apart and from here we're starting to mobilizing the spine making the cat cow movement inhaling roll the shoulders back and down chest bone forward pull the mat towards you point your tailbone towards the ceiling feel this extension in between your shoulders and exhaling round your spine Without pressing the navel in, just feel this flexion now. Inhaling, heart forward. And exhaling without tension, round your spine. Three more times. Last time, chest bone forward, exhaling round spine, inhale and come into neutral position, bring your toes on the floor and exhaling, bring your pelvis up, stretching your legs more, come into downward facing dog, now start walking on one place, bending one knee and pressing other heel deeper in the floor. Say yes, no with the head, shake a little bit and now slowly press both heels deeper in the mat, press yourself up, press your, direct your sit bones towards the ceiling and feel this length in your spine, protracting the shoulders, deep inhalation and exhaling start walking towards your hands feet sit bone wide apart bend your knees and release your belly on your thighs again saying yes and no with the head inhale deeply and exhaling start rolling all the way up vertebra per vertebra and inhaling roll your shoulders back and down bring your palms forward and come in your tadasana feel this length through your crown deep exhalation and we're going to the first round of our surya inhaling bringing the arms up palms together and exhaling leaning forward all the way Inhaling Ardha Uttanasana. Exhaling, bring your hands near your feet. Inhale here and exhaling, bring the left leg back and bring the knee down. Look forward. Inhale. Exhaling, bring the right leg back. Inhale deeply. Exhaling, bring the knees, chest, and chin towards the floor. Feel this extension in the thoracic spine. Inhaling, come in your cobra. Point your feet, bring your hands a little bit in the front of your mat and pull your mat towards you. Feel even more extension, come a little bit higher. Exhale fully. Make your lumbar spine super long. We're staying here for three more breaths.
exhale fully bring your hands under your shoulders your toes on the floor inhale exhaling press yourself back on your heels inhale deeply and exhale come into downward facing dog again you can walk your feet a little bit forward if you feel that your heels are not reaching the floor and we're staying here for three more breaths. Inhaling, bring your left leg up. And exhaling, round yourself and step forward. Bring your right knee down. And with the next inhalation, come all the way up. You can bring your hands on your left knee. And we're staying here for this deep hip flexor stretch, the psoas stretch on the right side. Feel that your pelvis is aligned. Both hip joints are on the same line. And we're going to take three more deep inhalations here. Now, if you can reach your block, take your block to the left side under your left hand, inhaling, bring your right arm up and exhaling, lean towards your left side. Feel this extension, even deeper extension in your right psoas muscle. Inhaling, come all the way up, bring the arms up. Stretch yourself, open your chest a little bit more towards the ceiling and then bring the hands under your shoulders. Inhale, stretch your right leg and exhale, uh, step forward. Inhaling, Ardha Uttanasana, long spine. Exhale, bend your knees, lean forward on your thighs. Inhale again and exhaling, start rolling up all the way very slowly very nice come again into your tadasana roll the shoulders back and down palms forward and your pubic bone a little bit directed towards the lower ribs inhaling bring the arms up exhaling lean forward long spine ardha uttanasana half forward bend direct your sit bones to the wall behind you now exhaling hands to the floor, inhale here, exhale step back with your right foot, big step, bring the knee down, inhale look forward, exhaling bring the left leg back and come into plank position, inhaling press yourself up, retract the shoulders, stay strong, exhaling bring the knees, chest and chin to the floor. Ashtanga Dandasana. Inhaling Cobra. Exhaling here, point your feet where sting for three more deep inhalations. Again, pull the mat towards you and press a little bit with your pubic bone into the floor. Exhale fully, bring the hands under the shoulders, toes on the floor, inhale deeply, exhale, press yourself back on your heels, inhale deeply and exhale, come into your down dog. Three deep inhalations in the down dog, feel the length in your spine. One more time. Inhaling, bring the right leg up. Level the hip and exhaling, big step forward with the right foot. Bring your left knee down and come all the way up. Try to still have your neutral position of the spine, not going into hollow back. 
so that you feel the stretch in your left psoas muscle, in your hip flexor. Open your eyes. Now again, we need the block. Bring the block on the right side. Inhaling, bring the left arm up. Feel this length and with this length, lean towards your right side. Exhale fully. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring both arms up and open your heart a little bit towards the ceiling. Keeping your neutral position, exhaling, bring the hands down, inhaling, left leg straight, exhaling, step with your left foot forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, long spine, exhaling, bend your knees and release your torso on your thighs. Inhale deeply and exhale again, start rolling super slowly. And inhaling, come in your Tadasana, roll back your shoulders, palms forward. You're going to bring the, your arms forward and we're going to go in the roll down, starting from your crown, vertebra per vertebra, rolling all the way down. Feel this length in your spine muscles. Very nice. From here, release everything down. Bend your knees a little bit again. And now bring the hands down. Now step back and come into quadruped position. Now we're going to do some chest extension and some shoulder flexion. So for, for this, you're going to need your two blocks maybe or you're going to need your blanket and pillow. Optionally, if you have two blocks, you can bring two blocks uh, to the both sides. We need something which is a little bit higher and we can, where we can bring our elbows for the chest extension. So you're going to have your knees hip, hip bone wide apart. And now you're going to bring your elbows shoulder wide apart on your blanket, on your blocks or pillow. And now you're going to bring your fingers of your, um, the tips of your fingers together. And now uh, inhaling, you're going to bring your chest, chest bone, your sternum down. And you're going to release your forehead on your pillow so it can relax. And as last part, you're going to bring your hands back just behind your neck and we're going to stay here a little bit also in this position avoid going into hollow back really concentrate on this part of your thoracic spine on your vertebras just in between of shoulder blades We're going to take five more breaths in. You can exhale through your mouth here if you like. Last deep inhalation and fully exhale, release your arms and now slowly release this position, bring one hand under your shoulder, another hand and come into
into sitting position in Vajrasana, your heels sit. For the next asana, which will be Janushashasana or variation of Janushashasana, we're going to use our construction of the pillow and blankets. So for now you're going to stretch your right leg forward, flexing the foot and bringing the left foot just on the inside of your right thigh. Now really feel that your sit bones grounded on the floor and rise through your crown. Take your construction on your right thigh and now first make yourself super long and exhaling start without any tension roll forward bringing your belly on your construction on your pel on your bl blanket or pillow releasing your arms bringing the palms up towards the ceiling and releasing the neck muscles bring your forehead on your pillow If you like, you can bring your right ear on the pillow and just stay here. We're going to stay here for some time. Now, if you feel that this flexion of your foot isn't necessary, you don't want to hold this tension, just release the foot and leave it fall how it falls. Feel if you hold somewhere more of unnecessary tension, just release it with each exhalation. Bring the focus on your breath. When you inhale, inhale in your spine just in between of your vertebras and feel this length and exhaling longer than inhalations. We're going to take five more breaths in here. Deep inhale and now bring the hands down and slowly walk yourself back come into sitting position very nice we're going to change take your construction and stretch your right leg uh, your left leg bend your le right knee and bring your pillow and blanket on your left thigh pretty close to your belly First flex your right left foot, grow, grow through your crown and exhaling start walking forward, walking your belly on your pillow, bringing the palms up and releasing the crown, uh, the forehead or maybe your left ear on the pillow. Also for now release the tension from your foot joints, just leave it full. Feel also if you hold some tension in your hands, in your shoulder muscles, neck muscles. Make your head super heavy now.
Feel if there's a tension in your face muscles, your jaw, your tongue. Feel how more and more your body releases everything, lets everything go. We're going to take three more deep inhalations here. Inhale deeply and exhaling start walking your hands back. You're going to take your construction to the side now, bringing the both legs forward, leaning back and just shaking out of your hip flexors. For the next asana, which is Bada Konasana, the butterfly pose, you're going to bring your your, le your soles of the feet together so that your heels are maybe 30 centimeters apart away from your pubic bone. It is not very ne it is not necessary if you that you bring your knees super deep down. Um, if it's if you're flexible enough you can do that but it is not the focus of this pose now. You're going to need your construction again. And you're going to bring your construction here just in between of your legs again very close to your belly now grab your feet join and inhaling lengthen your spine and stretch your sternum forward exhaling lean forward with a long spine and closer closer to your blanket and now you can grab also with both hands your toes if you like and from here you're going to release your crown to your blanket. If it's not high enough you can bring a block here for example and also here you can just bring one ear to the blanket and release always bringing your palms up towards the ceiling Now feel in the physical sensation around your hip joints and feel if you hold also here some tension. And learn to release it.
I feel like you can bring left ear on your pillow. And we're going to stay for 10 more breaths here. Inhale deeply and slowly start walking back, coming into sitting position. Very nice. Your construction, bring it to the side, release again both legs forward and shake a little bit. For the next asana, we're going to change our position on the mat a little bit. So now sit just very close to the back edge of the mat and you're going to stretch your right leg to the side bringing the left right heel to this edge of your of the mat and the left leg too. So now from here feel your both sit bones super deep super anchored in the floor and you're going to need again your construction you can make it really high yeah my construction is pretty low but it's okay also use using a block for example so now bring your construction super close to your belly that you really can release your belly on your um, blanket or pillow and now bring your hands behind you and stretch yourself, stretching your sternum forward, opening the shoulders, feeling this stretch in your um, abduct adductors, adductors muscles, so the inner part of your thighs. And now from here, start walking your hands forward, always lengthening through your crown forward and bringing your pelvis or your belly on your blanket or pillow. I have to put my pillow a little bit forward. And the same thing, we're going to bring one ear to the pillow and completely release the tension. Also, if your feet fall down, fall forward a little bit, that is not a problem. Just in this position, we're going to focus on releasing the tension. Bring your palms up towards the ceiling and just stay here. Can go mentally for different parts of your body and feel if there is still a little bit of tension. If you like, you can bring your left ear towards your pillow. And 
we're going to take five more deep inhalations here. Inhale deeply and exhaling, start walking back all the way, coming into sitting position. You're going to take your construction to the side and bring your legs forward. You can shake a little bit. Very nice. We're going to change our position on the mat and we're going to slowly roll in the laying position and you're going to bring also again your um, your pillow, block and blanket in your head uh, to the left side of your mat and so start rolling all the way down finding a nice comfortable place on your mat close your eyes and now for here you're going to stretch your left leg forward flexing your foot you're going to press with your right foot on the floor and first bring your arms to the side so your palms are open towards the ceiling and you feel this opening in your collarbones. Press with your right foot on the floor and now come onto your outside part of your left hip. And now you're going to bring your right thigh on the construction near you so that you really can release your thigh your leg on this pillow but and so you you can come on your left side of the body but still keeping both shoulders on the floor so we're going into gentle thoracic twist you're going to pull your right hip down avoiding lumbar spine rotation so because this would cause compression in your abdomen and we, don't, we want to avoid it. So we really want to concentrate on the thoracic spine. Feel the part of your, in between of your shoulders on the floor. And for now just release and you can also bring your head to the right side. Still breathing deeply but naturally. Breathing in the left side of your rib cage. We're going to take three more deep inhalations. Exhaling through the mouth if you like. One more time, inhale deeply and exhale and slowly come to the center again. Bend both knees and bring your pillow on the right side. And again from here we're going to stretch the right leg down, flexing the foot first bring the arms to in the line with the shoulders with the palms open and now press with the left foot in the floor bring the pelvis up and rotate the pelvis to the right side come on the right side of your hip and now keeping your both shoulders anchored in the floor you're going to bring your right your left thigh on your construction always pulling this left hip down find a comfortable place feel the length in your spine 
your both shoulder blades on the floor and now just release your left your right foot your right leg and bring your head to the left side now inhaling in the right side of your ribcage We're going to take three more inhalations, exhaling through the mouth, making inhalation deeper, one more time, deep inhale, exhale fully, and then open your eyes and slowly come to the center. Very nice. Now feel your sacrum on the floor. Bend your knees one more time and bring the knees towards you. Not pressing too much with your thighs, but just feeling your sacrum on the floor. And we're going to make little circles, feeling like you're rolling on your sacrum. Feeling the lumbar spine on the floor. Very nice. Change the direction. And the last round and now we're almost done with our practice so for the Shavasana I'm going to give you a nice a variation for the nice chest extension if you like you can use this blanket which we're going to roll now or if you can you don't want it just do normal Shavasana spreading your legs and laying on the floor but I would like to show you uh, this variation with a blanket so you're going to roll your blanket and make a nice roll out of it. It should be a little bit longer, so I would roll it this way. So you're going to take this blanket, this roll, you're going to bring it on the floor, on your mat. So now you're going to lay on this blanket the way that your blanket starts or touches the beginning of thoracic spine or maybe the middle spine not the lumbar spine so you're going to support yourself with your hands and find this nice place where you can feel this chest opening and you feel that your neck muscles your head can slowly release in your roll and bring the arms, your arms on the floor in line with your shoulders. If you like, you can go now in um, Baddha Konasana too, like um, your butterfly pose. If it's too much uh, opening in your hip flexors and you cannot release, you also can use some blocks or pillows underneath your thighs. Or if you don't want to do Baddha Konasana, just spread your legs forward a little bit more open feel this opening in your sacrum in the muscles around your sacrum rotating your hips inward and then release your legs let them fall how they fall and now bring your arms in line with your shoulders feeling this extension in your chest um, area pull your shoulders deep down and now close your eyes pull your chin towards the chest a little bit feel this extension this length in your neck muscles take a deep breath in and exhale through your mouth for the next exhalation again release all the tension from your body Now you can make your breath flow naturally, releasing your ujjayi breath.
and again mentally scan this parts of your body which still hold a little little tension and release it Breathe through your belly and through your chest together, starting from the belly. So you really feel freedom in this part. And feel how with each exhalation your body gets heavier, warmer, sinking deeper into the earth. And feel this embrace from the earth, gentle, warm. Feeling this connection from the earth to your pelvis, your uterus. Feeling the warmth spreading from the earth to this part of your body. This gentle feminine energy moving slowly and free. Just enjoy the sensations in your Shavasana. Thank you for practicing with me and see you next time.